It is Wednesday, November 11th, and we are going to be talking about privatizing our elections today. Once again, we are joining you with Max Rice, the one and only, and Stephen Anthony Lawrence. Gentlemen, kind of an interesting concept, uh, perhaps horrific. Um, what are the thoughts? What what are the positives? What are the negatives? And what, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, uh, this is like the worst idea I think I've ever heard in my entire life. You think elections cost a ton of money now? Just wait till you privatize them and you get uh, corporations dumping as much money straight into candidates. See, at least now we at least have to act like, you know, we're going to put money into a, you know, a super PAC. You know, we, we at least have to do that now. If we privatize elections, we don't even have to act like we're doing it. We can just give as much money to whoever and it's pay to play politics. No holes bars. You got enough money. You just bought yourself a politician. Good job. Sounds like the worst freaking idea I've ever heard in the history of bad ideas, in the history of bad ideas ever. Hey, Steven, I got I got a question for you. What if I told you that was happening right now and for decades and that like uh, political organizations and actual little like political parties, local political parties are donating to election voting system companies? Yeah, yeah, you know? I know. But I at least now we have actually at least have to have super PACs. I, I'm, I'm for a little bit more. I, 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 I'm, I'm we have we have it like we have privatized voting systems today. There's like five election system companies that have very limited accountability. There's like one organization that like checks on them and they don't really do a good job. There's a great- Yeah, well, at least as an, as, as an so, individual, you can only donate, I think it's 3,200 bucks to a candidate. You yeah. can donate so much more uh, as a, you know, super PAC. So the end, you still have to, you know, fill out a form saying, hey, I'm not a, uh, I don't, what is it? A, a foreign nationalist. Or, or hey, uh, I, I haven't given money to Iran. And, uh, get, yada, yada, yada. You know, yeah. so, so there's at least some accountability. If, if we take all of those out, you know. So Stephen, I'm saying that's happening well, today. They already did. So they you, already you Max, Max, you make an interesting yeah. point, but I think that the, the concept behind privatizing elections and making everything privatized um, is different than having government subcontractors, which is sort of how I'm understanding what you're saying, that are providing election counting and vote counting systems. Um, 80 percent is, is done. So are you but are, are you saying that by feeding your ballot into a machine, you are hypothetically being swayed by the people that are using these voting systems? And are they changing votes? And has there been any I'm evidence saying that, that? I'm an energy that we kind of have a mix in energy that most utilities are private companies and like the independent system operators are independent companies and they kind of work in tangent. And then there's also FERC, which is a, well, that's the federal organization that kind of looks over it. And what I'm saying is that the system for energy is so much more regulated and intense than it is for election systems. They're really like Congress and a lot of uh, state organizations don't have as much access to the election voting systems as, as they should. Okay, so yeah, so you're, you're right. Secret, and there's been a lot of like real like, quite, like campaigns that are questionable, like Alvin Green in uh, South Carolina. Well, here's, you know, here's a general, generally speaking, clean energy is going to donate more to the Democrat oil and, you know, uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that it's going to donate more to the Republican. So what, what I'm saying is what we what we can do is just have a set flat amount. OK, you get twenty five million, you get twenty five million. And once it's down to two parties, because I don't know if we'll ever get out of a two party system here in America. That's what you got to spend. Hey, guess yeah. what? Guess what? Guess what, Steven? I like I would agree with that. Let's like and, and Republicans out there, football's got a cap, has a cap limit, has a has a salary cap. So I would I would not be actually it's very interesting. There was like Joe Biden in the 70s had a whole thing on uh, like campaign finance reforms that he wanted to make in the 70s. And he uh, he was against that. Like what he wanted was more like public funds for campaigns to empower small campaigns. But my thing is like, what if a Nazi runs like Art Jones in Illinois, who's a Nazi who constantly wins? Do I want my tax dollars to go to him? And I, I agree with what, like, I would agree with that situation, like your solution to have like a cat. We had that in high school. Like I was class president. You couldn't spend more than like, I think it was a hundred bucks or something. Hot <laughs> like posters. So why not do that for, for actual president? So I mean, I, I'd be, I'd yeah, be, I'd, I, I would agree with that hundred percent. But I'd be, honestly, that's kind of a middle of the road statement. I, I'm definitely more for repealing Citizens United getting big money out of politics, you know, having people only vote and people supply candidates, not corporations, is where so, money yeah, the needs to come from. Close yeah. the loophole. Yeah. So I could pay, so I, I ran for Congress. 
I could pay a consultant or my sister or girlfriend, whatever, and they could uh, they could spend that money however they want, and there's no accountability there. So on paper, I paid you, and then you paid Sketchy Corp or the election voting system or whoever, and there's no there's no really record of that. And so uh, we need to fix all the loopholes. Well, privatizing isn't a way to get rid of get rid of loopholes. That's no, a way so to just did, and it sucks. Oh. Like we, we already kind of did privatize the election. But there is well, a definite level of government oversight, and there are not really on the electric machines. It's like there's like one organization. It's called like the IT. Yeah, but I mean, there's there's no, a don't... difference between the election and the electric machine. I mean, we're talking about privatizing elections as a whole. For specifically, not, hey, yeah. let's take this yeah. one. Thing oh, you mean like you mean like on election day? Because like right now, the it's entire pretty... process of elections as a whole privatize the entire thing from beginning to end. Have a private organization run everything from beginning to end. Keep the government out of it, and that you know, sort of raises the question: Is that I'm, something I'm against, that I'm against is constitutionally? That no, so I'm, I'm against that, but it's also kind of like with private prisons, everyone's like, I'm like, what's so great about public prisons? So last week we did a lot of complaining about like the long election lines. So what's what's your solution to that? Because like right now we don't have like we're not having well, private companies run election day. But well, we yeah, we need it. We need to get rid of no. And I, and I, I, like, what's your what's your solution to that? Well, I'm very anti anti prison too because I don't think you should be be getting rich from sending people to jail. Number no, one. me too. No, but no, my my point is that like just because you're against privatizing prisons or elections like that doesn't solve the problems that are going on i think it also depends i mean again and it goes back to sort of what you said is is voter suppression if you look at like places like texas again you do have six thousand square mile counties and singular ballot boxes you do have you know limited access this year at the very least they did better and they expanded the amount of time that you were able to vote um they did have things like the option for mail-in ballots um but i mean again a a lot of people have been calling to make election day a federal holiday yeah, um, like you guys were talking about Harris County, Texas. Like BP wasn't doing that. McDonald's wasn't doing that. Apple what wasn't comes, doing what, that. What it comes down to it is I want my support to mean as much as BP's. And when you totally get rid of all regulations with companies and corporations, you know, that's not going to happen. Yeah, and I also think it's they should make it cheaper to run for office, and it kind of is. But they should, uh, like I would love if they kind of forced public TV time for candidates. Oh, you mean Stop the thing that banners. you mean? Wait a minute. You you mean the thing that Trump was just trying to cut funding for PBS? You mean that thing? NPR, PBS. N- NPR, <laughs> PBS. It has gone down in quality. It has. I'm a huge fan, like for my entire life, but it has gone down in quality. Man, that Sesame yeah. Street has really gone to shit. It reading, really is. Reading like, Rainbow was a, was a <laughs> damn monsters, legend. Yeah. Don't you say shit about Reading Rainbow. Yeah, so, uh, you know, public TV producers uh, call Steven. He's going to fix all of your problems. Max will run it for you, and uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll make a cameo or something. No, no, I wasn't uh, even talking about that. I was talking about like how, like on real networks, they kind of like how we're forced to watch the debate and stay the union, that sort of thing. Like, uh, actually, in the in the eighties, there was the fairness doctrine that Reagan got rid of, which I was against. Not a Reagan fan. Sorry. Listen here, oh, Mister <laughs> Mister Mr. Real Real Network. You've officially just lost your yeah, entire base. Real Network. Mister Mister Real Fox. Network. Mister Fox News. Just well, because I was watching. on There's just because I was on people. cable doesn't mean it doesn't yeah. fucking matter. Okay, I'll give you a question. You guys, uh, I'm not sure how it works in California, but in Illinois, you have to vote. You only vote against judges. Did you guys do that? Do you guys? Uh, how many judges did you guys vote or for? Because in Illinois, it's none. Not- Oh, no, at least where I was none this time around. Like forty, none. it was. A, we had a, so we had a, literally a whole page for the election, and then a whole page for judges, and that page was actually a page and a quarter. Wow! And I was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> like, Why? So know, a, that is such an interesting concept because so my 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 yeah father's stay in office, uncle is a federal yeah. magistrate, and this kind of it was an appointed position. So you know, uh, to to what degree are we now? Like, I get it. There needs to be a popular opinion in terms of choosing these judges, but. Is that you know then double indemnity because you're if you're if you're serving well this is a, a completely other episode but if you're serving in front of a jury of your peers hypothetically you would want a non-objective judge that could be appointed if they're qualified that's really I'm interesting saying that, I'm saying that I, I consider myself like good luck with that I'm, I'm politically Great. active I'm like more politically active than most people that doesn't make that makes me probably a worse person let's keep it real and like a bunch of people that i know that are more politically active than me mm-hmm. were asking me for my in, intake on like who they should vote for on judges so i think uh and that's just, like and also the water reclamation district there's so many like positions that are really important have hundred million dollar budgets billion dollar budgets life or death water reclamation district is literally the quality quality of water and uh there was a candidate i liked a lot troy hernandez ran the green party and i wonder how many people just didn't know who they were. I saw a Green Party and got scared away. 
Well, that's, you know, one of the reasons that I hate things like political signs that go all over the place. And in Orange County, we have them like it is nobody's business um, is is because it doesn't actually give you any information. You know, I I do feel like we have dumbed ourselves down as as an electorate that if if we see a name a certain number of times, you know, there's uh, a, a... degree to which we're going to recognize it. I see it most with Greg Raths. Greg Raths is the mayor of Mission Viejo. He came up against Katie Porter this time around. Um, Greg Raths had more signs for a politician that I've seen ever in my entire life. He was the first person to put his signs up. There was one on every single street corner. If there was a Trump booth, for those people that are watching that don't know what I'm talking about, people actually set up tables selling Trump merchandise like every square mile in this place. Um, and, And, you know, Katie Porter has one sign in this entire area that I have been able to find so far, yet she won the election 70 to 30. Why are we spending money? Why are we wasting resources? Why are we wasting paper on putting up these signs that sit there and then it rains and everything just kind of goes into the gutter if it's not providing us with any information? It's very interesting that you say that because I've like my, I have a very similar observation. And like my observation in 2016 is that newspaper endorsements didn't mean anything because like there were a bunch of local endor- not even national because uh, nationally Chicago Tribune endorsed Gary Gary Johnson mm-hmm. but like locally there were a lot of uh like the big newspapers in Chicago the Tribune and Sun-Times their endorsements really did not correlate to anything like, yeah. it was just like my woman random well, and then you know- I, and then my my take for this election is exactly what you said Matt is that like I saw a bunch of candidates there's like a Cook County attorney race and you and you saw Pat Fox's signs everywhere you saw no Pat O'Brien signs everywhere and he lost by a bunch yeah. And also, I got a, I got kind of a question for the host here. Uh, Matt, do you yeah. think or- Orange County will stay blue? Yeah, I actually I haven't checked it, but I think it will. You know, uh, it was it, it went blue for Hillary for the first time in a very long time. Um, you know, Katie Porter uh, did win over Greg Rath. That's going to be Southern Orange County, which is, again, a huge fundraising district for the Republican Party. I mean, I was driving around earlier in a neighborhood yeah. and every single I, I swear it was 40 houses had trump flags flying out in front of it i mean it was absolutely crazy um but you then you look at uh the race with harley ruda and george papadopoulos and young turk oh i got it if we can get hassan piker on the show i'm gonna hassan come on you guys it. On, hassan well, you know. not, a buddy of mine was his roommate um so you know i'll see what i can do i could uh, go bad i could go back there like, go. Maybe he wasn't I doing it. Now, okay, so given I, that he's like the highest the person on twitch right now he was, he was just like the highest person behind CBS News on like airtime when some of the election results were being announced. Like, I remember it. when he was just the guy that would just crap on Tommy Lauren and then he blew up from that. What happened to her? Can we talk for a second about like- She's on she's on Cameo for $70. She's got UB Steven. Steven. I think she's- Oh, re- wait a minute. She's not doing her show anymore? She, well, I think well, so what really happened is Glenn Beck is a horrible human being. Just a horrible human being. I hope we all can agree on that. Yeah. So she, uh, she really wasn't that famous, and and like like how she got famous, she signed a contract with with Glenn Beck's network, The Blaze, and then uh, and then she got huge from that, where she got more famous than The Blaze, and then she uh, said that she was pro-abortion, or not even she didn't even say she was pro-abortion. She said she was like sympathetic to it, or like kind of pro-abortion, and that was mm-hmm. just so terrible that like Glenn Beck like didn't fire her, but he like took her show away, took her social media away. And they got in a whole contract dispute and she had to break away and kind of start over. And she's starting Wait, over on Fox. So yeah, she lost like millions of followers and stuff. And that's a rebuild. Is Steven on Cameo? Yes, I am on Cameo. You there we go. Better. Advertised by Steven on Cameo. No, no, no. I have something better for you because I'm actually working for a tech startup called Koji. That's like Cameo, but it saves you money and you can do more shit. So plug well, in Koji. Koji. Advertise. Advertise. K-O-J-I. If not, Everybody I... go to Koji.com and use the Koji fan kit to make yourself some money. Well, I went to the bathroom next to the CEO of Cameo, so I got you beat there. Did well, you shake hey, it for some swords? You know, <laughs> I, I mean, I guess my my kind of answer on the Tommy Loran thing, I mean, it is what it is. You know, you're working for Fox News, you know. I mean, Look, if, if, for the Blaze before. If, if, yeah. Or the Blaze, or, or whoever. Yeah. yeah, you know, the, yep. you know, fr- freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of consequences. I hope people understand this. Yeah, Again, but coming from the, no, but coming from the entertainment industry, don't you agree? There's a lot of predatory contract stuff because you're you're like she was a oh, young, absolutely. she was like 22 years old doing Facebook stuff, and they're like, to be fair, like, she was honestly, this was her dream. She kind of they- got what was coming for her because she was somebody that was liberal before who literally just jumped in and ended up changing her entire thing because she knew, hey, young blonde white girl means conservative wet dream. 
That's true. It's, it, that's uh, you might hate, say, hate to say it, but uh, Candace Owens, I'm sorry, Republicans, same deal. She was a liberal trying to like call all Republicans racist, and she became a Republican. <laughs> she's smart. And well, she wants her 15 minutes of fame, you know. And, and, and here, you know, honestly, I guess I'll kind she's of incendiary. You know, well, I'll they're very it. quiet. No, right now they're. That's one thing. Uh, one of my favorite commentators, Tariq Nasheed, has a good point that like a lot of the Trump supporters that were like you're, you were seeing really active on Twitter kind of just disappeared after the election because they're not they real paid. people. Well, because well, they're real people. They're just not getting paid anymore. Zero talking followers. Heads. And, yeah. Talking heads. Uh, yeah. Yeah. The so what, is like not, not, there's like a lot of real Trump supporters. I'm not saying that, but there are. What there I'm going to do. Let, yeah. What I'm going to do right now is let's kind of kind of bring us back to kind of full circle here, you know, uh, yeah, privatizing, uh, privatizing right. elections and, you know, like, Let's think about just how much each of the losing campaigns spent. So 2016, Hillary Clinton probably spent, I think, a billion dollars on her uh, you know, I, yeah. election. It's probably the same around for Trump. You know, how much could a billion dollars help the world? I got in a fight. Right I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an OG. I got in a fight with Rand Paul about this. When Rand Paul was running for president in 2016, he was pulling at 1%. But I had read that he just spent $4 million on an ad, ad blitz like the day before he spoke in Chicago. And so I went to an event. I was wearing like a shirt like this and shorts. I was like the worst dressed person there. Raised my hand. And I'm like, Grant, you're pulling at 1% right now. <laughs> like you're about to drop out. Why did you spend $4 million on an ad? Why, why wouldn't you want to spend that on like cleaning up hall, like highways, testing libertarian ideas, just at, like doing a UBI like Andrew Yang. And uh, his answer was like, non-answer he's like well that's that's actually a good idea i was thinking about doing that but hillary clinton's not doing that and yeah no they totally should because hillary like, clinton is, you know, uh, in, my, in my ideal in my ideal world in my ideal world pre, like presidential campaigns would spend money testing their ideas yeah spend a hundred million dollars like idea. okay i'll, I'll privatize this see it worked we spent a hundred mil on it Our, or or uh, half, 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 half of what you're UBI. yeah Half of what you raise has to be spent on actually helping people, you know, uh, policy, policy. Oh, you do. We should tax campaign yeah. donations. Let's do it. Bones. Oh, that, down. You down. You down. That, yeah, wouldn't that it. be let's, double let's... indemnity? I don't, don't Dude, That's what do you mean? Double indemnity? Because Isn't you're, that, getting, you're uh, getting taxed on your income and then you're giving it to a, it's taxes on taxes. Although to be fair, income tax, let's not get started on that. We'll have a whole oh, yeah. God. Hey, tax, yeah. tax, hey, yeah. if I, if I get the Republican to agree on more taxes, I'm yeah, taking that on. as a win. <laughs> Matt, come on, man. you got to cut your horses. Exactly. Legal, take, but... take the win when you oh, want it, dude. Exactly. Oh, that makes sense. Awesome. Cool. We're or about like maybe they can reduce though. Wouldn't that be cool if they could choose where like they have to spend half their campaign donations on something they think they could prove successful like when celebrities like run game program. shows and they give it to charities when they win money something like that yeah, yeah the same shit cool guys, we're gonna wrap like, up. who wants to be a millionaire the celebrity editions because they had some like low-level celebrities on that where like the guy wins and he's like takes regis aside he's like uh like like fuck that charity i need the money <laughs> i just got the turns board. out it's like trump <laughs> university and he's actually just exactly. it back to himself as yeah awesome guys join us tomorrow we're going to be talking about voter fraud uh, evidences of voter fraud that happened in this election, or did they? Uh, and we'll take it from there. President Trump. President Trump. Let's go.